This is the weirdest thing ever, but understanding chickens will help you understand the product backlog refinement process. All right, so let me get into this. Anybody out there ever had chickens? Couple chickens in the backyard, maybe making a couple eggs, living there, right? You lived on a farm possibly? Well, the thing is with chickens, there's this saying that's like a pecking order, right? You ever thought about what that means, what a pecking order is? Well, in reality, if you have chickens, and I used to have a bunch of them, all right? When you have chickens, we have like 12 chickens. Anytime you bring in a new chicken, you know what happens? Well, the chickens don't go and meet and shake hands or shake wings and say, happy to see you. No, they fight. Every single chicken <laughs> fights. What happens, it becomes a little bit of like a battle dome situation where they come in and they say, well, you're a new chicken to the chicken party. We got to see where you stack up, where you are in the pecking order. So if you got a weak chicken, a young chicken or whatever, it can be a pretty rough scenario. But what happens is that chicken's got to find out if it's the top of the chain or it's the bottom. So that chicken for the next couple of days is gonna be doing some fighting. They gotta get it on. This isn't me, I don't run chicken life. I try to get chickens to be nice, but they gotta go through it, it's nature. That's how the pecking order comes up because anytime a new chicken's introduced, they go through the fight and they peck and they fight to say, well, this is chicken's about six out of 14 or whatever it is, or it's the bottom or it's the top. There's a new one ruling the roost, if you will. So that's what happens anytime you get a new chicken, all right? Now, how does that relate to product refinement? Well, think about your product backlog in Agile, right? It's all those features, functionalities, and things that could deliver awesome value to the customer, right? Make them smile ear to ear. Now, you got that list, and it's always kind of waiting there. It's like chickens getting ready to go to roost and get lay eggs for the customer. The golden goose, if we go to the goose from chickens, right? And so, right in there, anytime you introduce a new user story into the backlog, metaphorically what's got to happen you got to have those user stories fight in a sense all right you got to have them peck at each other you've got to go and figure out where this user story fits it's either the lowest value one down there at the bottom just waiting its turn or it goes do, 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 all the way at the top ruling the roost of the product backlog so if you picture in your head and you go youtube and figure out chickens and you go figure out you know this pecking order thing and you look at your product backlog, you'll never look at it the same, right? Because every time a user story, a card comes in, it's got to find, you've got to find it as the product owner. You've got to find the perfect spot for it, where it fits. And what you got to do is you got to have a value ranking system. Now, whatever it is in your company, but you've got to put it in there where it fits. Because without that, it's going to be a first in, first out thing, and it's not going to represent the value to the customer. And every single time we bring in another card, you know what happens. The chicken's got to fight. So that's the reality of it. That's how I think of product backlog refinement and how we go through there. And as we get deeper and deeper into it, we're going to break these cards down. We're going to understand more. We're going to estimate all those things. But the first initial image that I need you to see in your head, and once you see it, unfortunately, you can't unsee chickens fighting. All right. I'm not saying cockfighting these other things. Nope. I'm saying this is natural things that the chickens do. Okay. I tried to stop them. I couldn't stop them. They wouldn't listen to me. That's the way it goes. But right now, think about product backlog refinement and think about the hierarchy that is obtained through value-based decision-making. That's what we're trying to do in a backlog refinement process. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little weird. I get it. Nobody was harmed. No chickens were harmed in the making or talking about this. I love my chickens more than anything in the world, but they help us understand the product refinement. So they give us eggs and knowledge. Winner, winner, chicken dinner.